What's up, Golf Pass? I'm Don Saladino here with Paige McKenzie and Devin Bonebreak to talk about compressing your irons. Now, most people aren't going to think this can be helped out with golf fitness, but can you give a little background on compressing your irons? A hundred percent. Yeah, I think golf fitness is massive for this for a couple of reasons. One is being able to properly shift your weight side to side obviously makes a big difference, but as we talked about, being able to rotate properly, the rotation is going to get that lead arm in front and as your hands are more in front and your weight and pressure is on that lead foot, that's what's going to allow you to compress your irons, get good distance, uh, take a divot after the ball, all those things that are necessary for a good iron shot. Right. That's what players are looking for. Right. Let's be honest. You want that crisp sound. You want to make sure that divot is on the other side of the ball. So, so much of it, positioning as well as getting in the right position at impact. And a lot of amateur players are thinking about it being with the, the arms of the problem or having that, you know, that wrist in a specific position. But if your lower body is not firing or if it's not doing what you're demanding it to do, then it's going to be almost impossible to get your, hand, get your arms in front of your I body. Love you, I love you saying that because there's so many people that are like, I just need to get my hands ahead. And they never achieve it because they don't understand that this is kind of the root cause and this is the engine that's delivering it, the vehicle that's delivering it to the ball. Yep. And all the stuff we're about to do is going to help them do that. So you know what? Let's let's start by getting those glutes to fire. Let's get those legs to work a little bit. And I want you guys to throw that around your ankles. And we're going to go into something called a matrix tap. All right. Now, we're going to spend a little bit of time. We're going to almost get into our posture and we're going to step. So I'm almost stepping on that clock at 1 o'clock, back to the middle, 3 o'clock back to the middle, five o'clock, back to the middle. And we're going to repeat this going about three to five times each side. Now, yes, you will feel it in that leg that's moving, but you're also going to feel oh, yeah. it in that leg that's stabilizing, <laughs> right? Exactly. John, do I want a golf posture here or yeah, I mean, athletic you know, I, I, I always like golf posture when doing drills like this. I mean, we're emulating that hinge. We're emulating yeah. that core position. I think we can land a little bit more on the ball of that f- foot rather than landing on that heel. Mm. So we're just trying to more feel a, a bit tap, athletic, yeah. get a bit more extension out of that leg. Let's switch legs up. Perfect. Read my mind there. There we go. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling this. Each, <laughs> each one f- um, is going to count as one. So we're going to go 11, 9, and 7 on this side. That's two. Let's go one more time. 11, 9, and 7, 3. Guys, rest. What did you feel? Uh, I mean, I felt all all in the glutes. Yes, absolutely. And and truly just feeling like I had to be stable in order to not lose balance. It's resistance on both directions because of the bands. All right, so we're really allowing that leg to extend. We're landing on the ball of your foot. And I'm really trying to get some good extension out of our glute. Now, why do I want to be in golf posture? Well, I feel like that when we stand up and we start getting tired on this drill, the first thing most of us will do will be going into extension, which is arching our lower back, which we don't want to do. I feel like by getting us into posture, we're able to keep our abs slightly flexed, right, which is going to keep our spine a bit neutral. It is applicable to the golf swing, and I think it's going to teach us to have to maintain these positions while maintaining that spine angle. So I think that's really important. Now, what I want to do is I want to go into a split stance chop because this is going to get the core working. This is going to allow our glute to work a bit, but we're going to partner up. So okay. what I'd like you to do, Paige, is we're going to hold this high, and in Devin, we're going to get into a split stance. So whatever leg is up okay. is the side that we're pulling on. And we're going to extend out to the side. Paige is strong, man. <laughs> Pulling me over right this here. Is a, this is a test on my oh side, my too. Strong, strong woman here. Let's you can do it with him. You can do it with me. You'll be fine. <laughs> you can go half kneeling, and I'm fine with that. So this is a great variation to what I was just showing. Now, what we can do is we can bring that knee off the, off the ground a little bit, split stance, pull it into your chest, and then push out to me. Yes. Reach out to, reach out to Paige now. Good. Pull into your chest. Push out to me. Feel that? It feels a bit different, right? That's great. That hip is opening up. Yep. That glute has to post up a bit. We're getting a lot of glute stability, getting a ton of core. And Paige, do me a favor. Take that from your left side to your right side now. Devin, go up high with your, with your hands. We're going to go. Actually, I want oh. you now to go into your chop. Oh, me? Yes, you. Oh, I there you go. Come on, you got to have a little I, fun. I will. Let's, let's go left leg forward. Left leg forward. And let's go split stance. You are super strong. Keeping this right. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do now is perfect. So I want you to reach back to Devin. Pull pull it to your chest. (laughs) Yes, pull it to your chest. Now push out to me. Beautiful. Looking forward the entire time, pushing out to me. Really trying to look forward. Yes, that's what I want. Keep going. Hit repeat. You see how she just found it? I love it. Dropping that back leg a little bit more. Now we're, we're doing that static hold. And I, and I like it. We have rest. Okay, good. Finding a bit. Guys, 
this stuff takes time. And you guys are so athletic that it was able to click within a few reps. Now, if you don't have a partner to do this drill with, take it back to either a column or door jam. Notice how I'm anchoring this pretty high. Okay, keeping that band tight. I'm gonna get into my split stance position. My left leg is up closer to the rack, and from there, I'm pressing out. Wow, I'm just feeling like that. That wants to pull me over. I could reposition myself a bit. Whatever I do to one side, I could do to the other side. That's it. Really simple. You don't need a partner to do this one. Now, I want to go into banding presses with external rotation. This is going to really focus on allowing that shoulder to rotate. It's going to focus on developing that posterior, that upper posterior sure. chain. It's going to get us out of this position a bit. Super important. Let's have you, if you don't mind, just holding that in one place. Yep. And what I'm going to do is you're just going to anchor that in one place, and I'm going to press. Okay. Now, I'm trying to keep my elbow vertical. This is really recruiting so much in that posterior shoulder capsule. After I hit about 10 reps, I'm going to go into my external rotation. I like that, yeah. Wherever I do to one side, I'm going to do the other side. Paige, why don't you lead off here? Okay. Why don't you stabilize? So inside, right there, yeah. perfect. Good. Pressing up. I mean, perfect. Going roughly for about 10 repetitions. Okay. And then right at 10, we're going to reposition those hands. We're going to grab onto it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And now we're going to externally rotate for about 10 reps. You feel that? I do. Now what Paige is doing a great <laughs> job of is she's keeping her elbow on that axis. She's not allowing that elbow to pull back. So she's keeping it where it's rotating around that axis and that point. Devin, show me. Show me how this is done. Try to do it. Let's go. Go first on the Let's high. go first on, on the press. Good. So much we're recruiting back in that shoulder. Yeah. Yep. It's these little drills, these Raised little abilities. stabilizers start working. Also, not only from a performance standpoint or getting that arm to be able to externally rotate, Help. I think this helps with so many other things in the, in the golf swing. You know, shallowing out the club, you and I were talking earlier, there's so many things. 100%. But also, resiliency. Releasing. We hit that right. bad shot sometimes, or you, or you catch something out of the rough. It's happened to you. We age. Rest? We age, and sometimes it breaks down. So that kind of stabilization has to be helpful. But let me ask you a question. Even being, I mean, you guys are great players. When you're out on the course, do you ever catch a shot and you're like, oh, man, or does that ever happen during the season? 100%. Okay. So <laughs> I mean, usually it's my back, not my shoulder, but yes. Okay, perfect. It's normal, unfortunately, but I think the more you can take care of your body, the less that That's happens. That's going to happen. The more I play golf, the more I exercise, the more I am in it every single day, the less injury I have. I love it. Now, I want to just show a quick demonstration. What if you don't have a partner? Dropping this cable a bit. Very simply, getting my arm into position. Going into my presses, hitting my assigned, my required amount of reps, going into my external rotation, whatever I do to one side, I'm going to do to the other. You make it look so easy, Don. Come on. Oh my God, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's my game face. I got to try and make it look easy. Guys, this is, these are great drills. Mix these in. You don't have to overdo it. I, I think easy strength, taking an easy, relaxed approach to this type of training. We do not need to take a rocky type mentality with this stuff. You do not need to be dying or needing a two hour nap after this type of training. This will get your golf muscles in better shape, playing golf longer, have more fun playing because your body's gonna feel great. Good luck.